name is Michelle and this is my Willy Wumpkins channel. Thank you for joining me today. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe my channel so that you don't miss any of my Willy adventures. Today's video is to introduce you to my next Willy adventure, which is a crochet along. Now you can join in whether you are a beginner, uh, intermediate or advanced. It's going to take a spin on the granny square blanket and add a mitered edge to it. And we're going to try and use colours that will give the whole blanket a 3D effect. So if you'd like to join in, please do. Please like and subscribe uh, so that you don't miss any of the episodes or any of my other woolly adventures. So let's introduce you to the blanket. This is the blanket that I've already made. I did this as a test for the whole thing for the uh, crochet along. So as you can see in real life it's a nice size blanket. It'll fit a baby's cot. It's not quite long enough for a single bed but you could make it longer if you wanted to. So what we're going to do together is work a blanket that is three squares by four squares. So as you can see we've got three going down there, one, two, three and then go across one two three four now I'm gonna to have to pop up a photograph here to show you the type of 3d effect you can get from this blanket it's good isn't it <laughs> now you can use your colors of your own choice but I'm just gonna read up to you what I did the colors that I used so here we have the middle square was made with 50 grams of grey and I used a four ply pure merino wool. It was a super wash wool um, because I like to use real wool. Then we used 50 grams of the beige that you see here. Again it was the four ply, all of these are the four ply uh, pure wools, pure merino. Then I used 100 grams of the navy. Moving on, now this was the largest amount that I used. I used 170 grams of this blue here. It's a lovely blue and it really helps to get that 3D effect. Next I used 60 grams of the baby blue. And to finish I used 60 grams of this nice bright turquoise blue. So, I, <coughs> <excuse me. coughs> I put this together with a three and a half millimeter hook. These are UK sizes and the terminology that I'll be using in my crochet along will be UK or British terminology. So any of my American friends that are watching, it's going to be simple for you to just translate because we're only going to be using a chain stitch and a treble stitch. So, it's not too much to translate there, is it? So, I hope I've shown you enough to whet your appetite. I'm going to be making another one along with you because I have two grandsons. One is due in less than a month and the other one was born last year. So, they're going to want one each. So, I'll be joining along with you using the same colours but in a, a slightly different order to see if I can get it in a more muted uh, translation of the uh, the 3D effect. So there we have it. I'll see you soon. It starts on August the 1st here on my YouTube channel. You can either subscribe to this channel to see the videos or you can wait until I write the pattern but that's not going to be until the end of the uh, crochet along sorry because um, I'll be too busy crocheting to write it beforehand. So see you soon. Bye!